Hello once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and to another episode. This is episode Lucky 13 of Lawrence Plays Factorio, Angel Bobs. Uh, let's see what were we doing last time. So, having a look around the map, we've got some um, combat going on over here, but the um, the dragon's teeth and the and the um, turrets are keeping up with it quite happily. We've got um, ah yes, down here we built up these. Um, we automated building these crushers and ore sorters, and that let me. Um, get this up and running a bit faster and so we've now got a slightly better stream of steel coming through here although it's still not I don't know there's still not quite as much coming through as I would like it does look like these uh, furnaces are running flat out though so perhaps that just means I need to put some more furnaces in that I can uh, that I can certainly do what else have we done recently we've put in lots of these um, these warehouses that is absorbing all of the uh, resources that are coming out of these um, out of these mines and this means this, this coal mine is, well, there's 136,000 left there, so that's probably going to be good for a while, but I am a bit worried about the rubite, because there's only 524 of that left. So that's a big worry, because once we run out of rubite, we can't get any more lead. Once we can't get any more lead, we can't get any more um, basic electronic circuits. And once we can't get any more basic electronic circuits, well, um, I'm not actually sure what we're using those for, off the top of my head. I think some of these yellow belts use them, and probably some of these more advanced miners, crushers, sorters use them as well. So that's that's a concern. I think we possibly need to go out resource hunting, which is a bit of a worry because at the moment I don't feel like my um, weaponry is particularly effective against what, what biters I can see. Looking around here, I also can't see any more uh, patches of rubite. So I don't know whether that's something I can... Oh, what's that? There's some rubite. Okay, um, that <laughs> has obviously been spawned in since I... Um, fix the bug with the with the rubite not showing up um, because it's got a very very straight edge but that looks manageable there's a few too many biters nearby but maybe with a bit of turret creep and that sort of thing I can uh, I can defeat them it's quite a long way away though so I think I might need to start thinking about trains or at the very least cars to get out there so I remember that I researched cars in an earlier episode let's see what do I need to build that I need engine in fact let's 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 look in here car so I need iron and steel I've got that's no problem engines I need iron get okay I can actually make a car that's a much easier than I was expecting it to be let's start off by doing that then in fact can I just make one in my pockets or is there something more complicated engines I think engines actually require yes they require an assembly machine to make them still that's not really a problem um, I, I have plenty of assembly machines so let, let's let's put a car together and then I can go off and have a bit of an explore and chase some biters around and probably get horribly killed. I want you to make me engines and for that you need cogs. How many cogs do you need? One. Uh, I need eight engines so I can dump a load of pipes in there and a load of steel and then I'll just make some cogs manually for now. That's more than I need. Okay 15 cogs. Yeah I'll do. And oh and power. <laughs> it's a bit of a sort of cheap and dirty way to make the um, make a car but I don't I hope not to need very many cars. So if I just put one of these together for in um, in my pockets and from from this assembly machine, then it should with any luck last me for a good while. The other thing I'm going to do is pick up some um, what's that? What's the turret? That's a normal gun turret. Do I have any sniper? No, I've got two gun turrets and oh, and I do have two sniper turrets. Excellent. Can I make advanced turrets? Uh, no. Let's let's research better turrets. I think. Yeah, they're only steel, so. I don't really want to use them absolutely everywhere, but I think I can reasonably use them um, to take with me when I'm going out on on a, on a field expedition, should we say, uh, when the, when I'm likely to get attacked by biters and not have quite so much um, uh, protection from all the rest of the turrets that are available. While that's running, I'm going to empty my inventory out a bit, get rid of some of the junk that I seem to accumulate mm -hmm. over time. This crushed stone goes in there. Let's hang on to that tin. I know what happened last time. I wanted to, I used it up and then wanted gave it away and then wanted it back again. Same for lead. I think that's not too clay bricks. I shouldn't need. I shouldn't need the clay bricks quite so much anymore, because all of the things I was building with them are now hopefully being built on the on the bus. Halfway. Let's also um, build up some better uh, projectile ammunition because that's going to uh, keep me safe again while I'm while I'm out there hunting rabbits or biters. Yeah. Is there anything else I can uh, use? There's turrets three. They're going to be really... That's brass and invar. I don't even know what invar is yet. Laser turrets. No, all of this stuff is way out of reach at the moment, I think. Oh, the other thing I'm going to need, if I, in order to... If I am going to start mining stuff that's this far away, I'm going to need to develop trains and start that 
start bringing stuff back by train because uh, I'm not <laughs> I'm not going to belt it all the way from over here. So I think I need yeah let's um let's worry about that as as well once I've got the um once I've got my car up and running. In fact, it'd be nice to have um, railways being built while I'm away. I don't think I've got um, no, I haven't researched trains yet by the looks of it. Yes, so I'm going to need a lot of railway tracks to, in order to um, get all the way out there and back again. So it'd be quite nice to have uh, some machines on the bus building that while I'm away. Seven. <laughs> Eight. So now uh, hopefully I can build a car. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to have to run it off coal for now, but uh, that's not so bad. Hopefully there'll be plenty of armour-piercing ammunition uh, down where I'm building grey science and I can just steal that as I run past. Yes, here we go. How much of that did I grab? 79. It's not a huge amount, but it'll keep me going for a little while. In fact, I'm going to get rid of some of this low quality ammunition I've got here. Let's put that in. Let's put that in there. And then it'll just get used up over time. Um, next time I do a big expansion of the, um, the turrets, um, turret, turret walls, they'll uh, pull all of that through. So physical projectile damage is still being... But let's pause that. Um, rail? Railway. Yeah, let's research the railway. Besides, trains are great fun, everyone knows that. Everybody likes playing with trains. Put that on there as well so I can grab it easily. The ammunition in it. Although I'm probably going to want that. Um, and some fuel. That's some fuel. Oops. Now the trick here is to get past all these biter nests without um, triggering too many of them and getting chased. Because I don't really want to have to fight them if I can avoid it. That said, if I'm going to build up a, um, a mine down here and a railway running back and forth... I don't really want to have um, have the tracks open and with biters wandering across them. I am going to need to clear these areas out eventually, and probably sooner rather than later. Yeah, this looks like a nice patch. Uh, there is quite a lot of biters though. Right, okay, let's see what we can do with the uh, with the turrets we've got. Let's get the better ammunition out. I'll put the I'll put the um, no, I'll put some of that in my um, in my uh, submachine gun, and then if I get out one of those sniper turrets. What sort of range of those. I've put that just too far away from them like that and then my normal turrets flanking it. Oh, I only have one. Okay. And the other sniper turret also flanking. Why did I come out with so few turrets? That was a fail. Okay, let's give it the um, ammunition anyway. Uh, I got that the wrong way around. Let's give the other one the ammunition and give that one the normal ammunition. <coughs> I don't think I need a, um, a trained tutorial at this point. Thank you game. Okay, so if I do that, if I kite some of these guys over, let's see how we get on. Badly. Uh oh. No. 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 <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I probably should have brought a lot more um, turrets with me. That said, they seem to have attacked me rather than the turrets. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Okay. Step two is to put a sniper turret down a bit closer, where it can pick off some of their um, stuff like that, and hopefully keep it prepared. No. Nope. Maybe not. Uh, yeah, that didn't go well. <laughs> Help. Run away. Yeah, so this is pretty much what I was afraid of. The biters currently massively outgun me. I think... Oh dear, there's some more of them. I think what I'm going to have to do is go down there again with enough resources and enough gun turrets to basically to build up an entire outpost that can defend itself. Did I... Oh no, they got de... What's... Where's the... How do I get home? <laughs> not this way. I must have gone around the north of the other base. Right, so, yes, I need to come back out again with enough gun turrets that I... No, I didn't come through there. There's too many trees. <laughs> and rocks. What was I saying? Right, yes, I need to come out with enough um, firepower in the form of gun turrets and ideally piercing ammunition that I can fight my way through them all by building up a decent a decently defended outpost that can take an attack like that charging towards it without without having any problems and then do then start the turret creep the problem is i think the problem is going to be those worms that i suspect outrange my um, turrets or at least have similar range even to the sniper turrets this may be um tricky and i can sit there repairing stuff that is does help but as we just saw it's not really a proper decent defense against a full-on attack by the biters. So let's have a look at these turrets I've been... In fact, let's get the research for the um, ammunition running again. Uh, let's have a look at the different types of turrets I've got. So range is 18, speed is 10 plus 1. Mark 2 is 
10 plus 1, range 19, so it's slightly longer range, 10, plus 10% 10 times 1. So I get slightly more damage, 10% more damage out of Mark II. That's not really very much. That's probably not worth it, and I'd be better off just with more Mark I's. The snipers appear to have a tiny fraction of the shooting speed, but about but a 15 times damage bonus, so they do about 2.5 times damage, but much more slowly. Okay, what's under attack? Oh, up there. That's a new one. Uh, let's go and deal with that, I suppose. And at least I can drive around the base now if I've left big enough gaps for me to do so. Ooh. <laughs> no. Yeah, because if I leave that biter alone, there's no turrets up here because I wasn't getting attacked up here, so I didn't think I needed them. There we go. So that meant, that means if he gets through, he can just come down and start chewing on things I actually care about. Sorry, walls, I don't care about you. But they did act as a good um, early warning system, so, you know, kind of useful. Right, I guess I better put some turrets up here. Um, as we discovered, I can't build any turrets because I don't have the resources. I probably should have thought of that before I came running up here. Let's go and get some. <laughs> you know, I should automate gun turret production as well. I'm using quite a lot of them, and I'm making them all by hand, and that's a bit, a bit wasteful. Okay, so up here somewhere... I could bring the belt from here or up here. Let's bring it from up, up here, I think. So that means a splitter here. I'm going to run out of belts, aren't I? Let's get some more of those before I go up here. Belts, 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 belts. Belts. Right, there we go. 400. That should that should be enough, especially given I had 160 already. Right, oh yeah, the next thing is going to be... Um, what? No? Rail gets me, what have we got here? Railway 2, which gets me what? Mark 2 things. Uh, Mark 2 engine, Mark 2. In the plate. Okay, so that gets me better things. What I actually want is signals. Yeah, signals. And I'm probably going to want fluid wagons unless that came free with something. What? Yeah, that one. So research that. And I'm going to want, probably want fluid wagon eventually, but not yet. Not until I start um, faffing around with oil. Given that this area isn't really being attacked very much, I'm hoping that just putting in a few turrets like this is going to be enough of a discouragement that I don't have to upgrade them basically ever, really. Uh, let's put two down here, actually. There we go. By the, I'm hoping that by the time the, um, the biters are dangerous enough for me to need to upgrade this area, that I'll basically have gone somewhere else. Uh, I'll, I'll, sorry, I'll have expanded out enough that this area isn't a worry anymore because my base reaches out all the way to the sea up here, perhaps. Should I put one in down here as well? Probably should. Let's make the wall thicker so I'll get a bit more warning. Um, it's, no, it's not covered by the sniper turret. <laughs> that would be amazing if it was, but no. I could put the sniper turret down here, actually. And those things are long enough range that it's, to an extent, going to cover the one above. Well, everywhere is covered by one of the sniper turrets. Put it that way. Okay, I think there's a bit of a gap here that isn't defended. But they don't seem to be attacking there. They're just attacking down here because it's the nearest nearest place and biters aren't very smart. I've not installed any of the um, biter AI overhauls because that seemed like a bit overkill given that um, I'm already making the game harder and more complicated. Let's tidy up these uh, miners a bit since they're not really being. since some of them are finishing up. It's always a bit of a worry being able to tidy up miners like that because it means you're starting to run out of them. Uh, so it means they're starting to run out of resources in that area. Although the ones out around the outside do tend to run out relatively quickly and the ones in the middle last a lot longer. So it's probably not really an issue yet. It's just going to be an issue at some point in the future. Oops, done that again. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think I ever need more than 150 of those. Uh, okay, that'll do. <laughs> have I done the same on all of them? No, that one's limited. Stone? I've run out of stone. Why would I have run out of stone? It's very strange. Because there's so much crushed stone being pumped in. Oh, there... Oh, it's all being eaten by the landfill. <laughs> right. Um, I mean, I know I sort of built the landfill in order to deliberately use up stone, but I didn't expect it to 
used it up to quite that extent. Uh, yeah, if I'm going to have automated transportation, I need rail signals. So I want this to pick up. If I put it there. Oh, okay, I can't make them um, curve yet. That's a shame. <laughs> I was looking forward to playing with that. Oh, I can near side a belt. That's interesting. That might come in useful. I just need to remember that. Okay, so that's twice as much stone coming through. I suspect that's still probably not going to be enough and that the um, these machines are just going to guzzle it all because that takes half a second and uses 20 stone. Yeesh. Um, how full is that box? Okay, let's, let's stop them. That's probably enough. Holy, that's a lot of inserters. Where'd they all come from? Uh, that's a lot of biters. Where did they all come from? I mean, we seem to have nearly... No, that one's going to nearly explode. Right, let's go down and fix that. And um, also give them a lot more turrets. So I think... No, actually, let's aban let's ignore it for now. Because um, the next thing I was going to do was build up... Auto was automate building turrets, because I'm using quite a lot of them. Uh, so I'd like to get those being built automatically, so I don't have to worry quite so much about doing them all by hand. Because we all know that's a silly idea. Oh, that's also silly. Uh, fortunately, this is where the gap is, so I can put that there to there, and then have it loop around. Goodness sake. There? No. There. Right. Turrets take cogs, copper, and iron. Do sniper turrets take the same? Yes. But twice as many. Always out of something. Today, it's inserters. Okay, I give in. Where do I build? Oh, here it is. Inserters. I'm going to make that 150. I seem to get through 100 inserters relatively quickly. Oh yeah, I need to talk more loudly and uh, not mumble like that. Okay, so we have across here we're going to have a belt going there. And that's going to have iron on one side and copper on the other. Okay, so I can use these later to build up my better gun turrets as I need them. For now, just output to boxes with sensible limits. <laughs> oh yeah, that's under attack still. Hurry up and make me some turrets. Yeah, I think I need some sniper turrets along the back of here to provide that extra bit of covering fire for the for these occasional ones who just scamper in. I might as well just pick them off before they get close enough to do any any actual damage. Okay, let's get LTN up and running as well. That all right? Let's get circuit network up and running because that's very useful. And uh, and LTN follows on from it. And LTN is also, I think, going to be very useful. I've never really used it. I had a bit of a play with it on my previous. Um, previous game but I introduced it a bit too late on in the game so by the time I was wanting to start using it properly I'd already set up far too many stations and a rail system that didn't that just didn't um, didn't really fit with it so I had to so it wasn't yeah it just wasn't really suitable and there's too much adapting needed so this time I'm going to try and think about LTN right from the start so you'll get to watch me scratching my head over that and trying to work out how on earth to, to build it all up and hopefully that'll be interesting, and we'll all learn something. No, I'm not going to start building gun turret Mark IIs yet. I don't think they're worth. I don't think they're worth it at this point in the game. I do think four turrets is probably enough for me to for it to be worth taking the car and getting up there and having a and reinforcing all of that area up there. Ooh, drive around the pipes. There we go. Was it this? It was this wall, wasn't it? Yes. Still seeing still uh, still be coming under attack up there. So first things first, pair the turrets. <laughs> Anyone else damaged? No? Good. Fix all that up as well while I'm here. <laughs> that one's got confused. I oh, know, here it comes. Bang. Okay, so that was the one that was getting all of the abuse. So let's give him some um, more support. And also, probably one of the sniper turrets. How many sniper turrets? I only brought one. Oh, let's put it in line with the rest of them. Mmm, delicious purple goo. It does seem to linger around a lot longer than the bodies do, so I think that means there's a decent chance that if I do decide I need it later, there's going to be quite a lot of it just round the edge of my base where it's been dropped, or where the biters have been dropped, depending on how you look at it. <laughs> if I had construction bots, then I'd put dragon's teeth up pretty much everywhere around the base, but 
it's just so time consuming building them that yeah I'm not going to but bots are a very long way off I'm afraid okay how are my turrets doing turrets 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 I've got turrets angry turrets about 11 okay that's not enough not for the amount of um, heckling and abuse I got from the uh, uh, from the biters when I went down there before is that okay so they're sort of building up an army here and then racing it down towards the um, towards the base I wonder if that means I can do something about them because there's no um, there's no worms so I can potentially take this out all by myself should have been using grenades as well there we go get some big purple things as well that's just a mass of um, spitters I'm not going near those maybe if I had a tank don't have a tank yet tank is much much later I guess that has small worms those ones that got me before oh no I won't be able to tell because yeah radar doesn't go out that far okay let's go and um, start using up steel at an astonishing rate by building railways as well by building um, railway track that I can later turn into actual railway so down here I'm about to have, have problems with cliffs again but if I do hop it and I've got a lot of space open up with absolutely no cliffs in it at all just some ore patches and I don't mind building over those because there's enough everywhere else okay let's hop over those cliffs let's find out if my grenades can clear trees out yet yes they can that's going to be a lot easier how can I clear rocks with grenades eventually it's just a slower process but rocks aren't as bad as trees because there aren't as many of them yeah this definitely beats doing it by hand both speed and entertainment value okay so if I run the bus down to about here then I, if I run the bus down to about here then I can just start pushing off to the, um, the left hand side and uh, do all my building over here in amongst these no longer trees there we go that's some space cleared out okay so I can come down here hop over this rock uh, cliff, uh, cliff face can I do this is this, this is a nice straight north uh, east west one so I can just do it like this but one two three four there let's let's leave room for six just in case I find some more stuff and a gap of two one okay some of them are gonna have to be yellow I don't know if this is going to fit in <laughs> goodness sake ah. nope not gonna fit I'm just gonna have to bring them in from the side then well it was a nice idea something something first contact with the enemy the enemy in this game being cliffs of course I only even need one of these right now at some point I'm expecting the bus to contain a few more elements but it doesn't yet right what's that single oh right it's the um, clay bricks okay oh yeah train lines that requires iron and steel I'm guessing you uh, well what do we need here stone iron stick and steel Oh, I'm gonna have that stone. Oh, no, st oh stone's getting through now because I've solved the um, the problem with the 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 problem with the um, oh goodness sake, Lawrence! I've solved the problem with the landfill taking up all the stone. It was iron stick. That's a that is a two two step process. Okay, so let's bring the iron stick in first, or the iron for the iron stick in first, like this. Then we need steel and stone over here that uh, stone bricks can come too and then of course a flurry of these things to get the bus past one pole to power them all and now I'm gonna need a lot of rail let's say one two let's say 500 I think see if my um, steel can cope with that I don't know if I should be using multiple construction machines really I probably should have oh well I need to go out there and um, spread some freedom first anyway so let's take those do I have some walls yes but only 90 of them do I still have that box where I dumped a load of walls in earlier and then sort of just tried to forget about them if not I think I've got somewhere building them anyway that I can nick them from is it one of these yes <laughs> this can be my deaths counter oh what have I got that I don't need too much copper too much iron too many circuits too many little balls of purple goo far too many little balls of purple goo too much oh, it's full as well too much stone far too much stone I don't need that much wood either electric mining drill one can go in 
to be made into more electric mining drills. That's down here somewhere. Oh, it's already full. Okay. I suppose I could take some... No, there's no point in taking drills out yet. I'm, it's a bit too scary out there. Grenades could be useful if I get close enough. I certainly don't need this many yellow underground belts. Can I put them back in there where they came from? Also help me. Yes. Yeah, look. I... I don't need to be told how to transfer stuff out of my inventory. I would be able to do this more quick, not that one, more quickly, but I've blocked all of that part of the crate off, so it won't let me. Won't let me just do a dump of all of, of inventory across into it because it's, it thinks it's full. Isn't quite the right word, but sort of full. Okay, that'll probably do. Oh, God, what? Don't attack there. Help. That's map view. Stop it. Why are you attacking? How did you? Why are you? Yes, just all, all of those questions. Where did that one come from? I mean, obviously south of the wall. Something about building a wall and making the biters pay for it. There's a gap there. It could have come through that there and up this way. I guess I need to start thinking about defences down here. I'll f fill the gap in the wall in there and bring the wall down here. So at least this way, they hopefully won't be able to just wander across to there like that again. I could put a wall. Yeah, let's put. Let's continue that wall across here as well. It's not going to last long because I'm going to need to dig it up for um, to extend the bus relatively soon. But for now, it's probably quite a good place to have it. It'll at least stop. Well, if I put a bit across here as well, we are now sealed around the southern. I think we're sealed all, all the way around actually. So sealed all the way across the bottom there, up the side here. Across the top, and then obviously down this side, just down this side because of the uh, the water. Yeah, that should be all right. Okay, apparently my dinner's ready, so I'm going to pause this for a little while, and then we'll uh, see about going and taking on those biters. Okay, I'm back. Uh, now, where was I? Oh yes, I just finished um, sealing up the base, so hopefully I won't get another random biter in the middle of it again. Um, and I've also picked up enough turrets. I've got 50 turrets and 24 sniper turrets. Not a huge amount of ammunition. Maybe I should have got some more of that as well. Yeah, let's get some more ammunition before I head off um, and take the, take the war to the natives. I will drive though, because I'm impatient. Okay, that's several hundred. If I, actually, if I take some extra coal with me and some burner inserters, then I could set up my own ammo belt system. <clears throat> and that'll keep all the turrets loaded and working without me needing to babysit them. <laughs> Pipes are stronger than the car. Right, let's see if I can find that way through the um, bitery regions. Yeah, that'll do nicely. Oh, fairly nicely. Here we go, here's my rubite patch. First up, let's build a wall around it. At least around the north side, that'll do. Turrets. Oh, crap, here they come. I mean, I'm not going to lie, I kind of knew that was going to happen. <laughs> I was hoping to get a few more turrets down before I got immediately attacked, though. Oh, that's fine. That's allowed. Okay, that isn't going to work. It didn't really bring enough belts. Oh, I've got, I've got the yellow ones up. That's right, that contain and that one contain lots of coal. It's going to need some coal of its own. There we go. Right, so here we go. The um, the local defences are getting loaded up. I'll put in a couple of these sniper turrets as well, just to give me that extra bit of oof. And in fact, I'm going to make a, um, a sally port with some dragon's teeth at the top here for me to head out through. I can hear biter noises. That's quite disturbing. I've never really listened. Never really heard the noises they make before like this. I think this must be a new, must be a new thing in um, 17. Point whatever I'm playing at the moment. Incoming! That went well. Thicker walls on the front line though. <laughs> this loading process is taking a bit longer than I was anticipating. Let's put some more ammunition in there. Also, some of my turrets don't seem to have bothered picking up coal. Up uh, turrets. Some of my inserters haven't bothered picking up coal. There we go. Okay, everything's loaded down here. Let's try and kite some. Biters. These seem to all be biters. There aren't any spitters in this group. Oh, there's one spitter nest there. Basically, they're mostly biters. And that makes things a bit easier, I think, because that means 
that means they can't get past the walls, essentially. Oh, what's the range on these? About there. Okay, so if I drop a sniper turret... No, not there. Are you quite finished? There's enough of them coming out that this is just a never-ending stream. Nope, that's in range of the worm. <laughs> um, okay, so the worm has either the same or greater range than... Yikes! ...than my uh, sniper turret. Yeah, it's the same. Are you... You're a medium worm. So I think if I put that sniper turret back and then just try and keep it repaired. So the fighters will be dealt with by the turrets. Is the turret even attacking that worm? I don't think so. Uh, oh no, I'm repairing it faster just. Although I am running out of repair, <laughs> repair to packs. Okay, let's go a bit more overkill on this. Yes, that's better. Okay, so all I needed was more dacker, as they say, more, a bit more firepower, and they'll be able to take everything up. Huh, these are pretty awesome, actually. Depending on the size of the attack that's coming in, but no, they do seem to be... Why are you not attacking that? Okay, let's go over there next. Oh, <laughs> okay, like that. Right, things are fairly calm now, so I think that means it's time to stop them being quite so calm. But first, I shall build some more inserters. Ah, I've run out of repair packs. <laughs> However, I have mostly also run out of enemies. So there's two nests oh, and a small worm left. So I think I've nearly won now at this point. So that, but the loaders for a couple of the turrets got destroyed. <laughs> What's my grenade range? Not enough. Ooh. Ow! That one got me. Right! I am victorious! After all that. Ow, that was some acid. Uh, what? What's getting destroyed? Oh, down there. Oh, I've lost one. Okay, that needs some up upgrading and more defending and stuff. I can't go around there. I could build a bridge across here, I suppose. I don't have the landfill with me, though. It's great, there's still more um, biter nests to deal with before I can build a full-on railway out here. Still, it's one of them down. If I build the railway down a bit further south, punch through here near this, probably have to take this nest out. But if I go due west across here, stay close to these cliffs, and then cut north around here. These these ones should be fairly easy to deal with because they're quite small. I might even be able to do those by hand. That one is going to be difficult. Let's go and have a look at it. I probably regret this, but I'm going to go and have a look anyway. See how big a nest it is. It's... Probably no worse than the one I just dealt with. This one, again, not so bad. Just same old, same old. This one down here is quite a lot smaller. Doesn't seem to have any worms, so I can probably deal with this. Like this. Ah, if I don't get stuck on the trees. Got stuck on the trees. There. Dooby dooby doo. Yum. Ow. That was some acid. This one down here is quite big. I'm not touching that, at least not without a fort to run away into. This one up here is very small, and in fact, it's only producing biters, not spitters, so that's a lot less dangerous. Probably. Where are my grenades? Ah, this is dangerous. Ah, and they've got a worm. Still, I can't deal with that. Like that. <laughs> oh, no resources. Ooh. Of course, what I should have done is put the um, armor-piercing ammunition in the car. That would have been a lot more effective. What have we got up here? Oh, that's... I don't know. It's quite big. Ah, they got me. <laughs> it's getting dangerous with the amount of acid lying around on the floor. Let's run away for a minute. Apparently I have to get out of the car to repair it. Where'd the armor-piercing ammunition go? Oh, I left it all in the turrets down the um, on the outpost. That worked quite well. I'm not sure I want to try it against anything, um, any any bigger bases, but that actually was, yeah, went quite well. Oh, where am I? Still there. Oh dear, they're going to get through there in a minute. Right, so normal turret, normal turret, normal turret. There you go, let's just boost the firepower a bit that way. 
Uh, you're an idiot. There we go. <coughs> and let's put a row of sniper turrets at the back as well. Like that. Fire support. And I'm going to build some dragon's teeth in the front. Because it's sort of relaxing. Okay, that looks pretty good, I think. <laughs> it's not that far off joining up this one, but no, I won't do that. That's a bit... A bit much. To be honest, I could probably take that base. The few, actually, the problem with this attacking this one will be the cliffs. If I try to circle it in the car, I keep driving into the cliffs and eventually I get destroyed. Um, I get caught on something and then uh, destroyed while I was sitting still. Okay, back down here again. So what's, what's, what's going on? I've got this outpost here. I want to run a railway line out to it. I probably want that to come up. Do I want to carry on using this crushing and smelting facility or do I want to build another one somewhere else that's a bit bigger and will deal with a much larger volume of lead I could put another one over here perhaps bigger smelt more smelting where do I start using lead it's for it's for these isn't it so as long as I got the lead in by here or to be honest I could run it up the other way and path around with the belts a bit there or if I, but as long as I bring it in across here then it's going to be just as good I might do that for now, I think. Yeah, which railway have I got? 500. Cool. Oops. <laughs> I think I just blew my car up. That's quite a big fail. Especially given how much time I spent building it. Right, where am I? Yeah, if I come down just to the east of here, so I avoid this rocky outcrop here, then I can come up into the base here, and then unload and smelt around this sort of area. For now, I'm going to build a railway like that, uh, so trains come and go on the same track. This won't do for very long. Later I'm going to need to go out and build build it properly. But it'll do for now. About to that orange thermal water, I think it's called. Get a bit past it. I can't even see it on the ground. Oh, it's those big cracks. Right, there we go. Yeah, this is a grenade-worthy forest. There we go. Where I get rather close to that, those biters, they're going to have to go. Well, maybe if I come screaming through in a train, they won't notice. Oh, another run out of rail. Okay, so plan part. Next part, of the plan: pick up another 500 rails. <laughs> if that's, yeah, if that's got that far, then five, another 500 will be enough to get over to here. There's still these guys to worry about. I don't know. I'm. If I just build a wall along the rails then they'll come and eat it. So it's going to need to be defended. I could put turrets in, but I'd have to keep them supplied. I'd have to keep them supplied, I'd have to keep them repaired, I'd have to... They'd chew through a lot of ammunition. I wish I had a car. I'll have to build another one. I think, really, I'm going to have to go down there and wipe out those biters as well. So I think that can be the next job. I'm still interested in better inserters. So I can't get capacity bonus because that's um, requires blue. Stack inserters require masses of stuff. Near, long, bonus, fast. Okay, so I've already unlocked fast, so I could potentially get those building. Uh, let's, I don't know. Let's start working towards stack inserters as well. What did what did fast inserters take? I've not been using them, so it must be something expensive. Ah, bronze. And what does bronze take? I'm sure I asked this at the, in the last in an earlier episode. Bronze is copper and tin, <clears throat> but in ingot form, which comes from ore and blast furnaces. I think this is going to be okay. So, plan for a future episode, maybe even the next one. Um, now that I'm starting to branch out a bit, is to start going out and getting things like to start trying to make the, these um, these ingots in order to make the bronze for all these sort of future thing future um, things. And if I can finally get bronze, being, if I can, yeah. So if I can get some new smelters up and running with a bit that being having supplies delivered to them by train, then hopefully I can make them a bit run a bit more quickly, and so they'll produce a lot more resources, and that'll allow me to get things like bronze and other things running a bit more quickly. And I suspect, I think, from what I've gathered, 
I believe if I if I start using the more advanced um, smelting and and so on processes, then it's going to allow me to produce a bit more of each resource from each piece of ore. So that should get make make everything run a bit more efficiently and hopefully allow me to um, yeah just scale up and scale up. The factory must grow. So there's quite a lot of space down here actually. If I can wipe out this nest. I can build a wall across here, block that, that area off. Then it's sort of a case of taking these ones out as I go around. It is possible to, as I demonstrated with the one over here by the rubite, it's just a bit of an effort. Is there anywhere that's better? Up here is possibly quieter. There's only small nests over here, but there's a lot more land to build a wall across before it could be counted as defended. I think down this way is probably the best direction to expand in. And it's the direction the bus is going in. Whether that's a good thing or not, I'm I'm not quite sure yet. But it'll do for now. It's just advanced silicon smelting, lovely. Yeah, so I can if I can pick up some of this crotinium or the sapphirite, which oh which one's sapphirite? I can never remember. Um Okay, so sapphirite is iron, stereotite is copper. But I have a lot of spare copper up here. So I could use this some of this copper. Presumably I can turn copper plates into copper ingots without too much difficulty. And then if I can get more jeevalite coming in at the top here, maybe step up this crushing and sorting process, and that'll give me a bit more capacity up there. Right, now I've got enough to build another car. No, I haven't, because I've given all my steel to this thing. Car. Coal. Ammo. Now, I know from at least vanilla that the biters won't attack trains. Uh, sorry, won't attack railway lines, because they're just basically flat on the ground and they don't really notice them. Um, but they will attack trains if the train is, if they notice the train going past and, that, and uh, sometimes they'll just wander onto the railway lines and whilst the train can run over one biter without any difficulty at all except perhaps the really big ones they do have a bit of a tendency to get stopped by large numbers of biters and that can lead to the train being um, if the train stops then the train will get destroyed and we don't want that to happen if I've just spent ages building a train I mean not only does um, having a train destroyed cost all the resources you spent building the train it, it also means your resources don't get through sometimes the um, if they don't destroy the whole thing if they only take out the uh, locomotive then it can um, lead to the the train the remains of the train blocking the uh, blocking the line so nothing else can get through and generally it just makes everything makes everything into a bad day so we don't want to um, risk biters eating trains if we can possibly avoid it right here we are again here we are at the um, at the mine. Is that enough? That's probably not enough space. Let's pull that back a little bit. In fact, there's two mines. There's two um, decent sized ore patches down here. So I might end up mining out both of them, building two stations here later. There we go. But that'll do for now. Okay, let's pick up all this pink goop and this rock, apparently. I fought for it. I think I deserve it. But not if I can't drive in a straight enough line to pick it up. So, these biters. I don't think I can kite them all the way over to this base. And even if I could, I don't think that would really do any good. I could build a base just to the south of the, um, the railway over there. See if they notice that. And that's somewhere to kite, at least somewhere to kite them back to if I get um, a bit too much attention. Drive by. Let's see if they notice a piece of wall here, shall we? No, that seems to have gone unnoticed. Maybe I can build up a wall here. I'm not sure I have enough ammunition to really do this properly, but let's see. I'm going to replace these ghosts with um, sniper turrets. I have to admit, the sniper I've really warmed to the sniper turrets. Um, since since my um, initial assessment of though their fire rate is too low to be useful, I'm actually now pretty convinced that they're they're very useful. Yeah, great. Uh, get that back. <laughs> out of walls as well. Just out of everything. Okay, what's the range on these? It goes up to that gap. Okay, so if I put this here and then find some ammunition for it, like that ammunition, put it in there. Oh dear, it's found some spitters. But it should be able to then take out all of this. Right, that wasn't going quite as well as I hoped because the spitters came out and started um, ganking the turret while I was while it was busy, <laughs> busy to shooting other things. If I put that there and arm it, then that can take out two more of the nests. 
no, then it gets distracted um, too much by the uh, by the biters. <laughs> I could put one there. That's quite a nice place for it. The uh, problem is there's enough spitters that it doesn't really matter if it's on the other side of the sea because it can. Okay, the biters can't get to it, but the spitters still can. <clears throat> that said, I think that probably is quite a good place to put it. And it's taking out the nests. Uh, what's it doing? What's it shooting now? Now it's just taking out biters. So that's. Or it's now it's taking out sort of infantry. If you, oh no, it's, there goes the worm. Okay, well, it feels a little bit cheap, but I'm definitely making progress. Ah, uh, too many biters. Boom. <laughs> Kite them down here. Get rid of them. Hey, you're ugly. Get down here. Oh. Yeah, the problem with that, that got blown up, so I've now lost all of my ammunition. I wonder if the sniper turrets are more efficient with ammunition, because they don't fire as often. Even if they are, they do seem to still be running out. There's only those four nests left. So, oh, crap. I am nearly, I feel like I'm nearly there. As long as my turrets will focus on them, like that. What's it going to shoot now? Nah, just whatever's nearest. Okay, um, ah, no, it's a bad idea, it's a bad idea. <laughs> same idea, it's the same idea. Come on, I must be able to get a grenade off before they, there we go. Yeah, that did almost nothing. Circling and throwing grenades in a car works, but this not so much. I think I am basically limited to uh, popping up a turret in the middle of their base and cheesing them from there. Oh, these all seem to be biters, actually. Now, I've got rid of all of the spitters. So I can just put those in there, and they can't do anything about it. Excellent, that'll do then. <laughs> One more. Good. I would be very interested to know what the rules are on um, alien artifacts being spawned by uh, when biters die, because I've killed a lot more of those. I've killed a lot, a lot more biters than I've gained artifacts from. Um, I've got what, oh, I've got 700 actually, maybe, maybe not. It's killed. 235. Maybe not then. Maybe it is, is about right. Okay. I think that's been a reasonably good episode. I've got some ex new and exciting things built. I've um, I've, cr I've created a, the, all these two sort of little outposts and, and slaughtered the biters near them. I've got this railway line. That's a big deal. And I think and I've got some plans for the future um, involving lots of smelting and trying to produce lots and lots of extra resources that way. I think I'm, I'm going to call it an episode there. Next, Beginning of the next episode, assuming I remember, I'm going to run power down this railway line and stick radars along it and little clusters of turrets around each radar and maybe even run a wall all the way along the edge of here so just down here all the way across here and then up to the coast over here I guess because I might as well whether I'll defend the entire thing I'm not sure yet it's going to be an awfully long one um, so it's going to, be, going to be a lot of resources to make all the ammunition just to fill the belt let, let, let alone to uh, run the turrets on, along the edge of it or I might just leave the um, the railway line open to biters wandering across it and hope there aren't too many of them. Either way, I'm going to need I'm going to need to have ammunition down here to, to protect this base because that's going to start producing quite a lot of um, of uh, pollution at some point because there's going to be mining going on there essentially. So that's going to eventually attract attacks probably from here and here and maybe whatever's off here as well. But I do need the rubite. So yes, power power down here, radars as well possibly ammunition and then mining down here and then I'm going to start thinking about smel uh, mining up more cretinium, steratite, coal, sapphirite and so on and bring it all in on by train so I'm going to need to start thinking about having a proper railway system set up rather than this just sort of single track with a loop on each end so I think that's going to keep me busy for quite a while maybe a, few, uh, a good few episodes there but it's nice to have some plans and things to work towards um, and it's actually quite nice to have an idea of what I'm doing because uh, a lot of this has been so new that um, yeah, have it ha already understanding about trains makes a big difference. Although then I say that I'm going to start playing with LTN as well, so that's something else that's going to be new. As I say, I think it's it's been about ooh almost one hour forty, so I definitely better stop here. Even even if I uh, double the speed of this, it's still going to be a forty minute ep uh, no fifty minute episode. But I hope it's been interesting. You've enjoyed seeing me um, out in combat doing rather badly and. Um, yeah, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you for watching.